Over the years, certain traditions and practices that have kept mankind going through the highs and lows of history have become extinct. But in recent times, science and technology happen to be bringing us back to the old ways. One of such lost practices include the use of vinegar in many households. Up until now, many people don't know what vinegar is or what it could be used for, which is rather alarming considering the vast history attached to the use of vinegar. Anyways, that's why you're here. We'll take a solid ride through the history and various uses of vinegar, and then talk about how it's produced, plus how you can make one for yourself. History of Vinegar Vinegar is a sort of alcoholic solution with close similarities like smell and color. However, vinegar does not contain any ethanol, which is the active ingredient in alcohol. Instead, vinegar contains a close derivative of ethanol, which is acetic acid. What does this mean in essence? It means that there is a high probability that vinegar was discovered in the process of an alcoholic production gone wrong. As convincing as that sounds, we will never know for a fact. And that's because the use of vinegar stretches as far back as the ancient Babylonians around 3000 BC. The name vinagre, which is the Old English variant of vinegar, came much later as a coinage of the French for sour wine, which is vin -ager. Interesting, these words were also derived from Latin, which means vinum acre, literally translated wine sour. Well, let's get back to the history of vinegar. The Babylonians used to make their vinegar using fruits like dates, figs, and beer. The resulting vinegar solution from the fermentation process was used majorly for culinary and medical purposes, as history puts it. Also around these periods, the Chinese during the Zhao dynasty were also proficient in the production of vinegar, and also its usage. Ancient Chinese scrolls detailed dynasts, nobles, and royal households having assigned vinegar makers as part of the specialized positions serving them. Later in the Middle East, after a couple of decades, Muslim scholars explored the science behind vinegar production. It was then that acidic acid was first distilled from vinegar by a scholar named Geber. Slowly, vinegar production became well known in Europe as well, most especially in the ancient French city of Orleans. It was here that the process of vinegar fermentation became formalized, popularly dubbed the Orleans Process. Key contributions to the history of vinegar and its fast use was done by quite a number of researchers. The major discovery of the biological processes involved in vinegar production was made by Louis Pasteur. He was the one who explained that certain bacteria carried out the fermentation to produce acetic acid in vinegar. What was the vinegar been used for? Nowadays we see vinegar being used especially in the kitchen for various culinary purposes. But apart from that, the clear solution is also used for household chores, such as cleaning and washing. The main component of the solution is the acetic acid. As a matter of fact, vinegar is a composition of 3-6% to acetic acid and 97-94% to water. In today's world, the use of vinegar is most prominent in the food industry, usually as a preservative for flavoring or as a combination with other condiments. Did you know that vinegar is an ingredient in mustard, ketchup, and also mayonnaise? Anyways, let's see all the possible applications of vinegar. Culinary uses of vinegar. This is where vinegar has its most application. The white vinegar is the type of vinegar mostly used for cooking and in food preparation. This variant has a bit more acidic acid concentration than the drinkable vinegar. Even at that, it's not poisonous or anything like that. So what can white vinegar be used to achieve in the kitchen? First, it is used in pickled drinks. Adding white vinegar to any type of pickle adds more base and spice to the mixture, be it a veggies pickle or a fruit pickle or an egg pickle. Vinegar blends well with other pickling spices and water. So this is something you want to start trying if you're a fan of pickled drinks and having heard of this before. Next up, we have vinegar and salads. With the fruits and salad toppings sometimes not quite fitting together, addition of white vinegar could be the final touch to your salad recipe. Like always, the vinegar sort of becomes the base of the dish and helps deliver the perfect taste you deserve in your salad. If you're going to try this, know that specialists generally advise that only a pint of vinegar would be added to the salads to help preserve the originality. Vinegar is well used in marinades and sauces, especially for meats and some types of seafood. The acetic acid in the vinegar helps as a tenderizer and to soften the muscles. In baking, white vinegar is used as a leavening agent alongside baking soda to give you a better rise of flour. Also in cheese making, vinegar is featured as a major ingredient. Usually what happens is that the vinegar acid sort of reacts with the protein in milk and forms soft curds, just as in cheese. For direct drinking as a beverage, it is not advisable to take in white vinegar as it is, but there are a good number of variants that are well consumable and even with better flavors and taste. For example, in ancient Greek, a popular drink at the time was ox mill, which is a combo of honey and vinegar. Other forms include adding fruit filtrates into vinegar and combining with sugar to give a beverage almost similar in taste to carbonated drinks. Vinegar as a preservative. The active ingredient in vinegar, which is acidic acid, is a potent antimicrobial. Hence, the use of vinegar as a preservative over the ages. The solution helps prevent the growth of microbes and bacteria on food portions, 
and some perishable fruits, and as a natural condiment that vinegar is, it often improves the taste of such preserved portions. Common usage of vinegar in preservation includes its use in sausages and seasoned hamburger. Roles in medicine. Vinegar has been associated with many health benefits, ranging from blood sugar control to weight management and reduced cholesterol. Most of these are claims subject to several scientific proofing. However, the acidic acid and water combination of vinegar is a strong indication that could perform many of these associated health benefits. Back during the medieval ages, vinegar had many roles to play in health and medicine, particularly during the Black Plague in France. Four notorious thieves were able to rob several plague victims without getting infected. When they were finally caught and tried, the judge negotiated the release if they could reveal how they managed to not get infected. The thieves then claimed that a medicine woman had sold them a potion, wine vinegar, garlic and red wine, which they used as a repellent preventing them from contracting the plague. This recipe has since been passed down as the Four Thieves Vinegar, a common hoodoo staple in New Orleans. Used in cleaning. As expected, the variant of vinegar used in cleaning of household materials or in disinfectant generally is the concentrated white vinegar. White vinegar can be used in cleaning as a myriad of surfaces as well as appliances. Interestingly, using vinegar as a preferred cleaning agent not only gets you your desired results to get rid of dirt and infected microbes, but also vinegar is a much cheaper option to the regular household cleaning agents. Let's go over some of the things you could clean or disinfect using white vinegar. Countertops, toilets, showers, bathtubs, flowers, dishes, mirrors, and windows. Coffee makers also. Other applications also include use of a stain remover for clothes. The cleaning use of vinegar still doesn't stop there. You can use white vinegar for gardening purposes, usually as a herbicide, and also in horticulture to preserve cut flowers. The potency of the vinegar for any of these chores depends on its concentration, so you need to always factor that in properly. How to produce vinegar. Most vinegar users would most likely buy commercially available vinegar, which is okay. I mean, no one wants to stress when you can just buy it cheap. But then for many vinegar enthusiasts as well, producing their own products has more to do with quality, determining custom taste, and also the art involved in the pricing or stress. Making vinegar by oneself. I know it probably sounds strange to you now, but just like every other skill we have, it can be learned. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be showing you the steps involved for a DIY homemade vinegar production. Okay, before we dive in, let's learn the basic principles behind vinegar production. The acetic acid of vinegar is produced when acetic acid bacteria acts on the alcohol and fermented juices. Ethanol, which is the readily available form of alcohol, is in turn abstained from the yeast fermentation of sugar in sources such as apple cider, rice, sugarcane, wheat, barley, and the likes. The process of vinegar production has since evolved and can be done in two ways now, the slow method and the fast method. One can take from months to years before the process is wholesomely completed, while the other can be completed in a couple of days or weeks tops. DIY Homemade Vinegar Production To start your vinegar production, you would first have to select your start solution. It could be apple cider, wine, stale beer, or any fermented drink containing ethanol and no sugar. So what you would do next is pour the liquid in a glass, preferably a dark one, and then cover over the cheesecloth hold by a rubber. This is important as the air is needed for the fermentation process. You would then store this in a dark place warm at about 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 to 27 degrees Celsius. This is the slow process and it takes between three weeks to six months to properly ferment and produce vinegar. Before the production of vinegar, a gelatinous layer is formed on the liquid. This is called the mother of vinegar. It is a broth of acetic acid bacteria. If you're gonna speed up the process, this is the ingredient to buy and add directly to the start solution. In both cases, the bacteria acts on the ethanol and the start solution to produce vinegar. When the process is complete, you would perceive a strong vinegar smell from the jar. You can also taste the solution to confirm. When you're sure it is done, simply filter out your homemade vinegar using a coffee filter. You can also keep the residue mother vinegar for future use. It is also advisable to boil the resultant vinegar to expel residual ethanol as well as kill off undesirable microorganisms. Industrial Scale Production Vinegar production on a large scale majorly varies in terms of the quantity of ethanol to be fermented. That means if it were to embrace the top fermented years of the small scale production, it would take forever to get the fermentation all round. More so an extremely large amount of mother of vinegar would be needed. In any case, for industrial scale productions, the bacteria needed are immobilized and incorporated as units in large bioreactors, which provide an optimal environment for vinegar production. So that's about it on vinagre, also vinegar as we know it today. What you should do is dash into your kitchen and give the DIY vinegar production process a try. Whichever way, be sure to like this video, drop a comment on your experience with vinegar, and also subscribe to the channel for more enlightening videos such as this. It's a wrap. Bye-bye.